Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another Bolt Quick Tips video. Today I want to quickly show you how to get things to trigger exactly when you want them to in your animations using animation triggers. If you're uncertain what an animation event actually is, this is a very simple animation I have set up called Walk on uh, this player that I have. This is uh, using skeletal animation. It doesn't matter if you use skeletal or uh, if you use sprites. Um, I like both of them, so I'll just show you how to do it on a skeletal animation for right now. Um, basically what he has, he has several different kinds of animations. Uh, for example, his walk. And uh, if you are having trouble seeing exactly where they're showing up, Sometimes it helps to just kind of click one of the parts of his uh, skeletal makeup there. And you can kind of get an idea that at 5, one of his feet hits the ground. And then right over here again, at 15, another foot hits the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some animation events here. Just clicking this button right here that says As Event. And what you see happening is uh, a little tab actually comes up right there. You can see that. Um, and uh, right up here on the top right where it says No Function Selected, I am going to scroll down until I see trigger animation event. And uh, I'm gonna do it again right here. So I'm gonna go over here, add a, an event, and then right down here, uh, trigger animation event. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to give these events a name. And so I'm just gonna call this step. So step and uh, going to click on the other one, I'm gonna hit step one more time. Okay, now going back to my barbarian game object that I have that's pretty much my player with a movement controller on it. Whenever he moves back and forth, his animations do work, so he goes from an idle to a move. Um, if you need help setting something like that up, just go check out my 2D player controller. Um, but in his uh, macro, master macro that I have set up for him, I'm just going to type in animation event. And we're going to select a named animation event because we named that step. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a quick uh, debug log that just lets us know that it is firing whenever it's supposed to in uh, the console. So going to debug log, I'm going to type in a new message and I'm just going to do a string literal and say, hey, I took a step. So, hey, I took a step. All right. And so now we should see whenever we press play and those event triggers in the animation where we had them set up every time he takes a step, we should see that it fires every time he takes a step. So there we go. There you go. Look at that. In the next video, we're going to use this system to create sound effects every time he takes a step. Hope to see you there.